How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is episode 4 of a Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Maypole Farm. When we last left off, everything that possibly could go wrong did go wrong. It was so bad that not only were things going wrong here on the farm, but it was also going wrong in real life. So, 23,000 plus liters of parsnips gone. Just evaporated into thin air stolen from the farm we had then done some sugar beet contracts in order to try and replace the root crops that we had lost well unfortunately the horse pasture will not take sugar beets so we've got a whole bunch of sugar beets that we don't know what to do with at this point uh what else we were working so hard that apparently Again, this is the in real life. We were working so hard that the, apparently the television decided that, you know what, I don't want to work anymore. I am just done doing what it is that you want me to do. And it blew up in the background. And it was actually recorded on the last Let's Play. It was incredible. Just all of a sudden, pop, 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 funny smells in the air. No fun at all. But... Thankfully, we got that all taken care of in real life. And now, what do we have going on here today? Well, I'm currently in the talks to purchase this chunk of land. This land here, if I take a look at the map, is the grass field that's right across the street from my main farm here. Now, the reason that I want to purchase this, yes, it is a grass field, but... These three fields are actually a part of the pastures for my animals. So this one is my cow pasture, my sheep pasture, and my horse pasture. Well, the problem is, is that they don't exactly function the same way that a normal uh, grass field functions. A normal grass field, you can go through all the same kind of uh, normal things that you would do for any other field, and it would just continue to regrow and regrow and regrow. Now, the problem with these are is because they have a nav mesh over them for the animals themselves, they don't necessarily function the same way. And what I mean by that is, is for some reason, if we take a look at the horse pasture, I can actually show you. You see this kind of darker spot here in the corner here? I went to manipulate the ground, field, uh, the ground state here on this portion of the field. But the problem is, is that it regrew all the grass from the rest of the field right over top and into this area here so the problem is that you know from the from the ground level it looks fine it's not a big deal um but i know that if we come walking in here we'll see all this kind of nonsense back here and <clears throat> the problem is that if we take a look at the precision farming these actually do function with the precision farming so there's no plowed state that we've uh, gone through here. So that's all very, very low for the plowing. And we haven't done any kind of general maintenance for the field. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to go ahead and utilize these as actual bits of field. We're going to go through all the states to be able to get them up and running and make them into real fields. They won't function the same way because what's going to happen is as soon as we save and come back in, all the grass is going to regrow immediately it's not going to do us any good in that regard but at bare minimum it's going to hopefully increase our scores to be a little bit better but the reason why i want to purchase this land is this land will always function as a grass field there is nothing that this will change but more importantly this field will then serve as a marker for the rest of my three fields as to when it's going to be acceptable to harvest or mow these other three fields this one will be kind of my flagship and the reason that is is because again these will always be ready to harvest there will always be grass available to mow and to do something with even if I just mowed them, I could just save the game, go out and come back in. I don't want to do that. But to remember every two to three months to come back in here and, you know, mow the grass, it's difficult, especially with a lot of other things going on at the time. So I'm going to use this to say when this says ready to harvest, that means 
all of them are ready to harvest. And then once all of them are harvested, I can kind of maintain them the same way I would do with this field and kind of go from there. So I feel that that would be the best possible scenario. So I am going to go ahead and finish purchasing this chunk of land and I will be right back. All right, $48,900, not bad, and now we own this. Let's go ahead and come in here, and we can purchase the soil map, so that way, whoops, that way we can kind of, you know, one, boost our overall score, which is exactly what we want. So now we have a 62 for our environmental score, but now we need to do something about these two fields, because these ones are really dragging us down really fierce. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab my mower and mow all the fields. Once I mow all the fields, I will then go through all the things that need to be done. The plowing, the mulching, the fertilizing, liming, everything to get this up to 100% and good to go. Because you can see this field here is bad on the pH. It's okay on the nitrogen, but not perfect. I want these all to read perfect, so hopefully when these update, then it's going to be everything good from there. I'm hoping that it'll actually recognize the work that we do, even though it's not recognizing the actual grass state itself. So that's what my hope is. So let's head back to the farm and go ahead and start mowing. We'll see you in a while.
go. All four fields are all mowed, ready to go. Now, we need to windrow and, oh, well, actually, I need to decide what I'm going to do with the, uh, the final product because I want to make some hay, I want to make some silage, but what am I going to do? What is going to be what? I'm going to have to figure that out. But I'm going to go ahead and take this mower back, park it, and kind of figure out what to do from there. So I went ahead and parked the uh, mower right back here, and I got a hold of my contractor, and I think, I think he's going to hook me up with something really cool here. But there's going to be uh, quite a bit of moving and shaking here at the farm. So let's go ahead. We actually got to disconnect from this. I forgot I had the trailer over here. So let's go ahead and move the trailer. Get this out of the way. Right here. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the contractor in here and let them get to work. So I think uh, I think some magic's about to happen. And here we go. They that that contractor. I tell you what, they are an absolute miracle worker. Look at this. This is fantastic. We ended up taking out the bunker silo all throughout here and this storage shed right over here right along next to the chickens and he was able to put this up and this is going to be absolutely magical let's see i actually need to turn something on real quick let's see interactive that's the output aha there it is okay so check this out this is going to be my new chemistry set. This thing is fantastic. So I can do liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, herbicide, seed, lime, water. Water is really cool because I can make snow into, into uh, water. Uh, we've got slurry, mineral feed, which that's going to be <laughs> nice and handy later. We've got some silage additive, sugar beets cut, so we can take the sugar beets that we have and cut them with this. Uh, we've got diesel, if we want to make some diesel. We've got uh, hay, which, hey, that's one of the things that we can do. We've got silage from both grass and hay. And we can produce methane as a byproduct, which is awesome. We've also got it from chaff here. We've got some TMR that we can make. We've got pig food. Like, this thing is just the Swiss Army knife of facilities. Absolutely love it. And when we removed the bunker silo, we ended up finding some chaff here just sitting on the ground. So let's go ahead and pick that up because we can just pick this up and throw it right in and get the process in it. So go ahead and... Let's see. I think it was right... There it is. open and here let's go ahead and turn that off so now I should be able to there we go not going to be a ton but it's something and there we go 365 liters of chaff so let's go ahead and swing back around this way nope not going to squeeze through there Let's see, so I think, there we go, make some silage, oh yeah, look at that, 
with some methane. Perfect. Perfect. All right, now these two. Let's drop. Nope, not that one. That there. Drop this here, because now we need to windrow all the fields here, get all the grass into swath. Uh, right here, perfect. Oh, and that reminds me, I can go ahead and get rid of this. Let's sell that off. I could even potentially sell this off, because essentially I'm just going to use the... Uh, this is like a little uh, forage wagon, so really I don't even need the bale grabber anymore. Hmm. And eventually I won't even need that. I won't even need the bale storage. Hmm. Hmm. My mind is racing right now. i got to figure out all sorts of things to, to do for the future now. Okay. Well, now we got this. Let's go ahead and start working on windrowing all this grass up and making it to where we can uh, start making some hay and silage in bulk. Let's do this. Alright, so I have this field here, the cow field, all taken care of, all windrowed, but now I need to do something about this particular windrower. It's working just fine, nothing wrong with it, but I think I can do better. Alright, so I'm back here at the shop, let's go ahead and... Sell that off. Perfect. And now, turn that off. Gonna make myself a little purchase. We'll see you in a bit. And there it is. Nice little K brand, 14.7 meters wide. I think uh, that'll be just a little bit better. Just a little bit. Let's go ahead and hook up to it and put it to work because that is a little bit more than double the amount of working width I had before and as we all know we double the working width we go uh, and do double the work in half the time so let's go ahead and get back to the farm and try out our new toy I'm, I'm pretty excited about this we'll see you back there all right, we're back here at the farm. Let's go ahead and give this bit of equipment a whirl. I am really looking forward to seeing how this thing performs compared to the other one. There we go. Open this up. Oops. There we go. Look at that.
Alrighty, we have just finished all of the wind rowing, and now let's go grab the trailer and forge pickup, so that way we can pick everything up, throw it into the farm production facility, and start making some hay and silage. Oh, I pulled out a little bit too far there. There we go. Alright, so let's pull out. And one thing that did not cross my mind when buying this is, do I have enough space underneath the covered uh, awning here to be able to park this? That may have come in handy to think of before actually purchasing this thing. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, no. Well, it, yeah, I should be fine. That should be fine. There we go. Yep, perfect. And now... Let's grab this first. There we go. Open that up. Alright, perfect. Now... Pull around here. Excellent. Now we just drive until the trailer fills up. Every time the trailer fills up, we just go and drop it off. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut us out here. I'll bring us back in as soon as we have everything loaded up and I get us a final number for the amount of grass that we picked up. We'll see you in a while. So here we are with the last little bit of grass that we picked up from all the fields. As you can see, they are nice and clean. All four fields. Let's see, after dumping this off, what that leaves us with. Let's pull in here. Like I said, you can see the sheep field in the background, the cow field, all nice and cleared out. And there we go. 374,000 liters of grass. Not too shabby. So now let's go ahead and turn that on and this on. And look at that rock and roll. Holy smokes, we are making hay, we are making silage, and we're making methane. Beauty, that's excellent. I'm really, really happy with this. All right, so now we need to find a new place to store this trailer because we were storing it in the bunker silo, but we really don't have one of them anymore. Well, you know, we could store it right here. Yeah, why not right here? We still have a lane to get through. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and put this away. Whoops. Now, one thing I want to do just really quick 
is I want to see if I can store my bales with the rest of the silage and hay. So let's go ahead and connect that. Connect this. We'll need to connect the rear weight as well. There we go. So let's get a couple of bales real quick. Uh, let's see, we want... Let's do three of those. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, now... Oh, it does take it. Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's go ahead and load all the bales in and then really there's not going to be any use for this uh, this storage unit anymore we might as well just start storing it directly in there so let's see let's go with all ten of those and all those so now that is completely emptied out go. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and load all these bales into the farm productions. And then as soon as I'm done with this, we're going to have to, uh, well, figure out what to do next because we still got to address the fields. We got to get them all buttoned up and nice and clean. We're going to have to plow them. We're going to have to fertilize and lime. Uh, reseed. So yeah, we got uh, we got quite a bit to, to do still. So I will uh, bring us back in shortly. All right, we got them all in there. As you can see, we got 91,000 liters of hay, 48,000 liters of silage. We already have almost 500 liters of methane. So that's just chugging along. Love this. This is amazing. I'm really liking it a lot. And as you can see, that storage is all empty. So now, let's see, let's go ahead and drop off the weight. There we go. Weight's done. Now let's grab this tether and then we need to head up to the shop and buy us a plow. So. I will go ahead and cut us out here, meet you up there in a little bit. So we made it up here to the shop, we're going to go ahead and turn in, and we're going to sell off both the tether and the bale grab, because really don't need them anymore. Let's see, right there, let's repair, repaint, and sell, repaint, and sell. Perfect. Let's turn that off. And now I need to go ahead and purchase me a plow. So let's go ahead and take care of that. All right. So you can see I have purchased my plow. Kind of uh, <laughs> got delivered a little weird, but that's all right. Go ahead and hop back in the tractor. And hook up to it and head out back to the farm. go. Now we need to fold this away. That is awesome. Nice little little feature.
So like I said, I'm gonna head back to the farm and we're gonna get to work. See you there. Pulling back into the farm right here. Gonna go ahead and drop off the front loader. So we don't need that at the moment. Put this right over here. There we go. And now, head back over to the cow field. We'll go ahead and start there. this open and just so I make sure because uh, help window all right allow create fields Alright, just about to finish the last plowing field. <clears throat> After this, I need to go ahead and get a stone picker so I can go ahead and get all these stones out of this field. And it is starting to get dark. It is only 3.40 in the afternoon. And whoo, boy, it is getting hard to see. So, let's go ahead and find a new home for our plow. You know what? I think right down here. There we go. Right there. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and head up to the shop. Pick up a uh, stone picker. Once I get the stone picker, I'm going to get to work. We'll see you in a while. So I'm getting ready to get back to the farm here. And I leased a stone picker. I leased the big boy. And what I ended up doing was a little bit of an experiment. I went in and saved after I finished the cow field and exited out, came back in. I wanted to try something really quickly. I wanted to see, one, if this field, because now we have, you can see the stones and you can see the ground underneath the actual field here. Actually, that's a good spot right there. So you can see the actual ground is plowed underneath all the grass that has sprung up because of the save game. So what I wanted to do is, one, see if I can get the stones out of here even with this grass texture. Number two, I wanted to see if it was possible that after I mow this the next time, if it regrows the grass uh, texture underneath the smooth grass texture underneath as opposed to leaving a cultivated state from the plow or from the stone picker so there's a couple of things at play here that i wanted to kind of work through but it's going to make finding the stones far more difficult than it would have normally because now i have to go through and just basically hope and you know use the map and as kind of a radar at this point so I'm going to basically just cut out on this one and cut us back in once I get to the other field.
So we are done with the cow farm, or cow farm, cow field. Let's go ahead and work on the sheep field. And I just need this little guy to get out of the way. So we're going to work on this and we'll come back in as soon as we're done. So I am all done collecting all the stone. I'm going to dump the stone into the facility over here, my little chemistry set. And hopefully not run into the horse. There we go. And then after I'm done with this, I need to be able to put down some lime and fertilizer. So I'm going to go ahead and get something that will handle that. Let's see if I can get in there from this side. Ooh, it's ooh, it's a tight squeeze. Ooh, this is tight. Um, hmm. Maybe if I oh, you know what? What if I back up into it? What if I do that? Something like this, maybe. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'll call that a win. Let's see, so for lime, I need stone and water. It also makes a byproduct of road salt, which that's cool. Let's see, all right, perfect. So we have got 6,700 liters of stone. Now I'm going to take this back to the shop, return it, and going to purchase an, a fertilizer slash lime spreader of some sort. We'll see in a little bit. All right, now we've got a whole bunch of lime. We just had delivered to the farm here. I'm going to go ahead and start making my way around and... Just like so. Lay out the lime and hopefully get the most uh, beneficial environmental scores we can possibly get on top of being able to get the best amount of product that we can possibly get as well. So I'm going to be go ahead and making my rounds and hopefully I bought enough of lime. <laughs> I'm not quite sure now that I'm seeing uh, how quickly this is going down. But we shall see. If I have to buy more, I'll buy more. See you in a while. All four fields are limed. Now we need to fertilize.
right, getting ready to roll up on the fourth and final field. This will be the last bit of work that needs to be done here around the farm, and we have got a lot accomplished today. I mean, holy smokes. We have, uh, <laughs> we have plowed, we have, uh, well, we got all the grass off the field. We built the, uh, the chemistry set. <laughs> we, I mean, we've done so much. We've uh, pulled everything off the ground. We've gotten it into the chemistry set. We went to uh, get a plow. We plowed the fields. We uh, limed. We fertilized. We have done so much today. I am just incredibly impressed with just how much we've gotten achieved. And at the end of the day, when everything's said and done, we will be able to now get a better yield and hopefully get a slightly higher uh score for our environmental bonus so when that uh, when that money comes around it'll help us out uh, in the long run because as you can see we were well over two hundred thousand uh, dollars earlier today and now we're at forty six thousand dollars so we've been spending money left and right but we kind of have to uh, spend the money to make the money and that's kind of the position we're in right now so a couple more passes here I tell you what, I really do like this uh, this spreader here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, sensor on the front of the tractor to be able to get the little bit of a bonus that you get or the yield decrease that you get for uh, for fertilizers and stuff like that. So that's kind of a, a disappointment. I could be saving a little bit on my fertilizer costs, but when I've only used 1,000, you know, 250 liters, I don't think that's, uh, you know, too bad of a, of a proposition right there. But that is it, and I think that is a great place to leave this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing, that shows you're engaged with this channel, enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.